It's the 26th of December 2023. Uh, it is one o'clock in the afternoon. It's really hot. I'd probably say 38, 40 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, I thought it's a really good time for me to show you guys the air conditioning system on our Land Cruiser. So here it is, LG Smart Inverter Air Conditioner. It's a 9000 BTU normal household split air conditioning system. And we have solar panels on our roof as well. So there you can see there's four solar panels. The three front ones run the air conditioning system when, we, when the engine of the Land Cruiser is not running. So let's climb inside and switch it on, see what's going on. So to turn it on, all we do is turn on the inverter. The um, switch over here is already on inverter power. We turn on air conditioner. That's it. And after a few seconds, you hear the air conditioner turn on using the remote control. Turn on the air conditioner, select air conditioner mode. Uh, let's put it on to 22 degrees. Um, let's have a look and see what our room temperature is at the moment. Room temperature currently is 20 sorry 37 degrees so there you go 37 room temperature so we'll leave the air conditioner to run while I talk you through it and then we can come back and have a look and see what the room temperature has dropped to so back outside so now you can see the air conditioner is running Over here, this is our charging system. We have the CTEC D250SE and the CTEC SmartPass 120S. So right now we are running off solar. The solar is charging the batteries and um, yeah, that's where our power is coming from. So when our engine is running, the CTEC system uses our alternator power to charge our battery for the air conditioner and when our engine is not running it uses solar to charge the, the lithium battery for our aircon when the air conditioner battery is full the solar panels then charge the alternator battery if our vehicle is not running so it, it charges both so very very nice system um, trouble free and you don't need to do anything it does it all on its own then coming back inside it's a little bit difficult to see what goes on here but underneath here this is a 200 amp hour Enatec lithium battery and then we also have an additional battery over here this one is a 100 amp hour Enatec lithium battery so for this trip we are running 300 amp hours of lithium battery power um, just because I didn't think that uh, we would be driving all the time normally we only use the one 200 amp hour battery but for this one we're using both and underneath here um, everything is really compact and hidden but that is a 2000 VA Victron pure sine wave inverter and that is what runs the entire system so we've got 200 and then the additional 100 amp hour lithium batteries uh, running through the Victron uh, pure sine wave inverter and that runs the air conditioner then we also have this fancy little thing over here the Victron BMV 712 smart battery monitor so that tells you everything that's going on so currently our batteries are 98.7% we have four point maybe let's have a look here um so it says we can run our air conditioner like this for 4.6 hours and uh, our main battery is on 13 volts uh, auxiliary battery that's the cranking battery 13.5 volts and that just tells you how much power is coming out of the lithium batteries 
So currently we're using 61 amps, uh, 800 watts. Um, but that's just because the air conditioner has just been turned on and it's busy cooling down the room. So this is about the maximum power that you'll see drawn from the air conditioner. Once it reaches room temperature, it drops down to about 300 watts and we can then run our air conditioner like this for probably up to 10 hours without a problem at all. So yeah, very simple system and very effective. Let's just have a look upstairs. You can see it's really hot outside, sweating like crazy. Um, right, okay, back to here. Okay, room temperature has already dropped to 35 degrees. So I think let's just let it run for a while longer and we can come and check in. If we need more power, so we draw 300 watts of solar um, from our three panels on the roof. Uh, but our air conditioner normally runs at about 300 watts just to maintain the, the temperature. So once it's dropped from whatever 37 like it was just now down to 22 where we want it, it'll use 300 watts just to maintain that. Um, but it, so we can use the 300 watts to run the aircon to keep the room cool, but it won't charge the batteries. So for times like that, um, if our batteries are running a bit low and we need more power, I have the Snowmaster, this 200 watt flexible um, solar panel kit from uh, Snowmaster and that plugs into here. So then we produce 500 watts of solar power that goes straight to the lithium batteries to run the air conditioner system. And um, the cables here are quite long, I think they're 5 meters so you can put it in the sun wherever you want. Um, also the beauty of our setup is you don't have to park in the shade, so you park in the sun, doesn't matter. So if there's no trees, no shade, you park in the sun, it just makes more power for the air conditioning system. So we have a pipe a pan, um, got a fire on the go there to make coals, we've got a pork belly roast on the go, the potatoes are going to go into the bra as well, we've got a spinach and feta bake that's going to go into the oven just now. So that's our meal for the day. Um, as you can see here, the air conditioner is running. It's been running for less than 10 minutes. So let's have a look. When we started, the room was at 37 degrees Celsius. Let's have a look now. Uh, let's check here. Room temperature, 21 degrees. So after less than 10 minutes of running, our air conditioner is now running well, our room is at 21 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, works really, really well. And then we've also got this energy control button. So um, we can reduce the power that our air conditioner uses right down to 40%. So it doesn't cool down as fast, but it uses less battery power. But with our setup, we haven't found that we need to use that. So just running it on full power, drop it to whatever temperature you want and runs like a dream so yeah really fantastic setup and uh, works so so well as you can see i'm sweating it is hot outside but inside here as you saw 21 degrees celsius so what a pleasure to be camping in the desert with air conditioning <laughs>